It's not every day the moon blocks out the sun, so tomorrow's eclipse has astronomers and researchers especially excited. CBS 2's meteorologist Ed Kern is live in Carbondale, one of the prime viewing spots. Ed. And we're out here at the marketplace. Listen to the live music. There's food, there's t shirts, all kinds of stuff. Tonight, it's all about a party. Tomorrow, it's all about the science. Tucked away on an SIU farm. Quick test log. It usually has an initial exposure of 0.35. And we're good on ref alignment. This is the dark site. Uh, the 0.35 is a good reference point. Just one of almost 70 sites along the eclipse line, all shooting totality, and each group has the same job. Image their duration of totality. And we're going to take that and piece that together and create, hopefully, a 90 minute film, so to speak, of uh, totality. Technology and the location of total eclipses hasn't made this sort of thing possible in the past. This is the dark site. SIU has poured these concrete viewing pads for the telescopes of research astronomers that come here from all over. This group is from Greece. The hope is to have the longest continuous view of, uh, of a totality. With that video, researchers can learn more about the sun's inner corona, something we can only study during a very short total solar eclipse. That doesn't really tell us what's going on there. So what we need is a longer glimpse of that inner corona. So this is slack. We're with the group as they do a dry run precisely 24 hours before this dark site turns dark under the total eclipse of the sun. Now let's put this in perspective. The last time a total solar eclipse happened from coast to coast was 99 years ago. In Carbondale, Ed Curran, CBS 2 News. Jim and Mike. Thank you, Ed. And stay with CBS 2 for complete coverage of the solar eclipse. CBS News will have a live special report starting at noon tomorrow.